This morning, air travel on hold nationwide as an FAA computer outage is to blame. This is your morning rundown. I'm Kai Martin. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2023, and here's what we are covering for you right now. What a chaotic morning at America's airports after a technical snafu forced the FAA to issue a nationwide ground stop. This all happened just before five in the morning central. The agency ordered all planes that were on the ground to stay there until 8 a.m. Central Time while they resolved an issue with the notice to air mission system. So what is a NOTAM and why is it critical? The notices provide essential information to pilots, flight dispatchers and flight planners about things like weather conditions. It could be unsafe for a flight to take off without NOTAMs. To other news now, Illinois' historic assault weapons ban officially law. Governor Pritzker signed the bill into law last night after a 68 to 41 vote in the General Assembly, mainly along party lines. The legislation outlaws assault weapons and high capacity magazines in Illinois. Illinois gun owners who already have legal assault weapons, they have to register them now with the state police, but they do have a year to do so. The deadly shooting at Highland Park's 4th of July parade was a driving force for the measure. Well, it is usually an unlucky day. You have a chance Friday the 13th to win big. No winner again in last night's Mega Millions drawing, pushing the jackpot to $1.35 billion or $707.9 million in cash, the second largest jackpot in Mega Millions history. Friday the 13th, though, Alicia, it's been lucky for Mega Millions. Mm. Four people have won a Mega Millions on that day. Maybe we should try our odds, right? Eh, sure. No? I'd rather have a coffee. What? <laughs> price of a ticket, the price of a coffee. Uh, good morning, everybody. We have some areas of fog outside this morning. Of course, the clouds accompanying that fog. Mostly cloudy skies continue for today, but what we will not see this afternoon is that sunshine. Unlike yesterday, where we were well into the 40s, low 50s, we still see those temperatures, but sunshine will be limited as we head into the afternoon. But all in all, look at those numbers, 49 degrees, the forecast high today, so that's well above the average for this time of year. We do drop our numbers a couple degrees, uh, Thursday and Friday, but we go back into the 40s heading into Sunday and next week. Uh, talking about the Golden Globes, right? Golden Globes last night. So many winners, a lot of first time winners. This one not though. Check out Jennifer Coolidge. Wow, I am. Um, yeah, I can. I, mean, I can put this down, right? No, I just. Uh, uh, I don't work out, you know what I mean? I can't hold it that long. Mike White, you have given me hope for, just you've given me a new beginning. Even this is the end, because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter, because <laughs> even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways, and my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And, <laughs> and, no, I mean it. None of those people, I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. <laughs> her persona is so close yeah. to her character of Tanya, which she won for her role as Tanya in The White Lotus in both seasons. Now, she did spoil the second season. Did you catch that there? She said, you did kill me Oh, off. you did kill me. I, I, but oh, I think well. people know oh, by okay. now. If you haven't watched it. If you don't it, know, now you know. And I wonder if Mike <laughs> White regrets killing No, her off. no. He said he gave her a glorious death. I listened to a, an interview with him. Anyway, so there's some other Golden Globe winners we want to let you know about. Best motion picture drama, that went to Spielberg's semi-autobiographical The Fablemans. The Banshees of Inishirin won, best, won the award for best picture for a musical or comedy. It was the most nominated film with eight nods. And then there's TV, of course, with the Globes. You've got The House of the Dragon with best drama. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, Alicia? You know what, I, and I liked it. <laughs> it was just a different direction. It went a different mm -hmm. way than, um, you know, cinematically from Game of Thrones. Yeah. But I'm, I, I'm into it, I'm, I'm okay. digging it, I do dig it. Best yeah. drama series, Abbott Elementary. Oh, I'm sorry, Abbott was best comedy. <laughs> <laughs> White Lotus for best anthology. And now, individual awards, okay? Kate Blanchett for Tar. Then, Solid. She's got that Oscar locked up, what, I think. I saw it. About it. Blacktop? Tar? Oh, no, no. It's a uh, it's long story. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> Austin Butler, okay? Best actor for Elvis. Did you see him in Elvis? I have not. I don't have time he, to watch movies. <laughs> let me tell you, Alicia, this guy, he can also take home the Oscar right now. Then Michelle Yeoh won for supporting for Everything Everywhere All at Once, and then Colin Farrell for supporting the Banshees of Inna Sheeran. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Now the fashion. Oh, I. Austin Butler. He had the double-breasted. Mm, yes, he did. Tuxedo. You liked it. He's my fave. So many levels. Thanks <sighs> for being here. Another update tonight. <laughs>